one for one that works for me. I feel that the the iPad in general is really good that you can actually have live live lectures and you can contact people. But in my case, because I was in Australia, the time difference was difficult for me to do all the live streams. So one of the things that I do like the iPad course a lot that one of the features that I did enjoy was how the content is in the server. So how easy it is to go to the content and review lectures that you missed for time constraints. And the fact that I can come back even as an alumni. So this has been a, something that I have been enjoying that you can go back to your course. You can go back to the lectures. Uh, you can review the content. Uh, I feel that this is a really, really powerful feature that the course has. My name is Diego Palacio. I actually originally from Colombia. Uh, I migrated to Australia around 12 years ago. Came to this beautiful country to study English and then I started a big journey here. And this is now my home. Uh, I do work as a project manager in, in the financial planning industry. And not a lot of hobbies. So uh, I spend time with my family. So I have a stepson, my wife. Uh, and we just enjoy to spend time normally outside in the beautiful beaches and the mountains here in Australia. And this is what we normally do. We just go out, we do a lot of barbecues and enjoy a little bit of life when we can. And that's a little bit of me. I have my, my, my mom, my brother and my sister live with, living here in Australia as well. So that has been a complete bliss. And yeah, uh, that's it. That's a very simple man to be really frank. Yeah, definitely, for sure. When you migrate to another country, uh, family is a big support. So have here my loved ones. Definitely is a big bless. It's a big plus. No doubt about it. So yeah, that's that's something that uh, keep us running and keep us, you know, feeling alive and love. So that's pretty, very, very important, especially with the background that I have as a Colombian. Family is this part of life that is, a, is essential for us. So definitely, yes. It has... I will say that it has to do it for good. Um, the fact that we can work from home and we can actually connect allows us to to be on top of the markets a little bit more often, to know exactly what's going on. And, and I think that uh, here in Australia, there is a big effort from companies to try to get that balance of life where you work from home, but you're still having normal hours. And you are saving a lot of time especially the time that you need to spend going to the office, coming back, uh, go to the heavy traffic on the city. So we, we as a family, we have been experiencing a little bit more, more time together here. Um, and I will say that this is probably the biggest changes that I have found in regards to work and life balance. Yeah, I have to be doing a little bit of little and pieces. First, I have been definitely, uh, I like reading, so I have been reading a little bit. Um, I have been studying, so one of the things that I have been doing is uh, getting all my head around through the iPad course. So for the last year and a little bit, when I enrolled iPad course, I actually was in lockdown. So it allowed me to, to spend some time studying after work, trying to get some new skills. Uh, reading a little bit, I, I do like reading. So I do, I have been reading a little bit some books, um, a little bit of Gardening is not a lot, but I have few plants and, and I have been doing that with my wife. And that's all, that is, is not a lot to be really frank. So uh, be re working remotely uh, pushes you to stay in the computer for too long. So as soon as I finish my work and did a study a little bit, I try to disconnect and one of the ways to read. And I feel that as well for a lot of us, maybe watching some movies and, and series is, is part of the normal life nowadays. So I have been spending some time with my family as well, watching some movies and series. And that's pretty much what we have been doing lately. We, we, we have been watching some series that are in Spanish. So, um, yeah, Money Haste is one of our favorite ones. Ah, so we have yes. watched that one and, you know, in Spanish is really, really good. Um, I'm watching something right now called um, Vivir Sin Permiso. I think that is like live without Permit. Mm. I need to find out the name in English as well, but uh, it's a good series that we're watching as well. I don't know if you have watched this. I watched House of Cards. 
Uh, I did enjoy that one too. Um, movies, yeah, mostly all the times are a uh, kids movie. So we have been watching Disney and these little kids movies that my son <laughs> likes to watch. It's a long journey and it's very different. So back home in Colombia, I did study a Bachelor of Finance. Um, I always has been interested in the markets and was part of my dreams to one day, you know, trade or, or be in charge of investments in companies or do portfolios. Uh, when I migrated to Australia, unfortunately here in Australia, I couldn't uh, work as a, as a finance person. Uh, there is a lot of licenses and it was pretty difficult, especially because I did have a lot of language barriers. So when I came to Australia, I couldn't speak English at all. So I, the only way that I could uh, start my journey in this country was actually the hospitality industry. So I, work, I was working in the kitchen and I was working as a dishwasher. So I did work a uh, kitchen hand is that the you know, technical work of that job. I, do, I did work like a couple of years in the kitchens and I started a big journey in hospitality. So I start growing up in that industry from kitchen hand then become, went to the front house and then last year and then we become bartender and then bar manager, assistant manager. And I did multiple kind of uh, assistant manager and then become a manager, restaurant manager. And I did went through all my career in hospitality and I did work in, in Australia for around seven years. And my last, my last three years working in hospitality was actually as a manager. So I did have the, the pleasure. I think that it's a blessed too to work with some of my good friends in restaurants um, for three or four different restaurants that I was, could be a manager there. As soon as um, I was working as a manager, um, Australia did open the doors a little bit more for me because when you migrate, you actually are a student. So you have a lot of limitations with your visa and you cannot really work a lot of hours. So I decided to study um, and I was missing finance. This is what I would like to do. So I have the blessed to actually study a master's. So I enroll a master's here in Australia and I did a master of finance. That master of finance opened a lot of opportunities for me to get back into the industry. And I did start working in a financial company, financial planning company here in Australia, in the Gold Coast. And I working as a para planner. So for you guys, if, if having heard about that position or not, para planner is actually, it's like a kind of financial advisor assistant. So we were helping, I was helping putting all the paper together, learning a little bit more. But I realized there that uh, all the financial advisors, they, they were putting some portfolios together. They were studying investments and options. And I was really, really excited about it and tried to bring my knowledge to it. Um, and for my surprise, they didn't have a really a specific method how to do it. So uh, I just created some models in Excel and I started working in that. And this is when I started feeling really interested about quant finance. So I was doing all my modeling, doing all portfolios. The main product that I had been working on is superannuation, that is pensions here in Australia. And I built some portfolios through the company with advisors. And that um, desire, that thing that was in my heart to get back to finance really kick. So working in the, in, 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 as part of Planet, I started growing up inside the company as well. So I had the, the great opportunity to become the manager of that department. So I did work as a manager for, for a few months. And working in that, um, I decided to start to look for options, how I can get involved with quant finance. And this is when I found EPAD. Um, so I enrolled the course, um, have been studying. Uh, in the company has happened in few changes too. So from uh, being a part of planner manager, I have been promoted to a new position and now I'm a project manager and business analyst. So in the business analyst uh, position, I do a little bit of data science and I needed to manipulate some data. And I definitely find out that um, nowadays that is a must to be able to, to learn a little bit more about databases, how manipulate that, how analyze data. Um, and, the, and the course will help me a lot. So I, I, I did the course um, and nowadays what I do is I work as a project manager may, and charge on mail of, or CRM program in, in software in, in the company Salesforce. So I have become a Salesforce administrator. Um, and in my free time, I, I do a little bit of uh, quant trading. So 
I'm fairly new in the industry, but I, I will say that nowadays I have enough skills to keep growing in that career that I would like to do. And sometime in the future, uh, my goal is actually be able to fully work full time as a fund trader. Look, it's be honest, it's work hard, be really honest, um, have faith, be strong. But I feel that if you are honest and um, you are a hard worker, things will come to you. So it's just that, you just have commitment, work hard, be fully, fully honest and, and apply all the good values and models that you have been taught at home, you know? So I have been lucky to grow up in a very functional family where my dad and my mom teach me a lot of really important things about life. And, and I will say that be Colombian as well, coming from a country that have so much necessity and where it's so competitive and it's hard to grow. Um, you learn that the only way to do it is to be disciplined and study and, and be, be honest. I, I think that this is a really important part, you know, be really honest in what we do, be really committed and the opportunities will come. I feel that it's important to try to find something that you love. Um, and it's not an easy, easy search. So in hospitality, I did enjoy a lot working, especially behind the bars. But then I have a lot of limitations around time. And, and unfortunately, that was a position that I needed to leave because um, you will be aware, uh, working for, for the hospitality industry is a little bit difficult in regards to family time, weekends and public holidays, etc. Then I moved to sales. Um, in sales, in, 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 in hospitality, doing sales, I, I did enjoy a lot, but I feel that um, there were things that as soon as you start working in a role that you don't know until you actually work in it. So I start to find things in sales industry or sales experience or environment that probably wasn't part of who, you, who I am. That made me to keep going to find something different. And then is when I jump a, a financial services in financial services has been the same. Uh, I will say that I'm, I'm not complaining because I'm really grateful what I have been done, been doing. But my first position have things that I found that I didn't want to see myself doing forever. Uh, even in my current position, so, so something is see, always you find something that that you want to improve, that will bring you a better quality of life or, or very satisfaction. And this is why we keep me moving. I think that it's trying to find that um, that role, that that task, that area, that food, that drink, that that make you feel it excited, that give you that motivation, and that was it. Keeping is keep me moving. This is the real driver that I have. I feel that it's just try to find a place or, or a task, or it's not just re, it just only re, regards work. It's regards life, uh, food, uh, exercise, or sports, or programs, or TV programs. Try to find those ones that really satisfy you. And I feel that this is what keeps me going. About algorithmic trading and starting uni. So I did um, one of the subjects that I did in my master was uh, financial trading systems. And I have my first approach to R. Um, I have been a fan of Excel. Microsoft Excel has been my tool forever since I was at uni, back in Colombia. And I thought I was pretty ignorant that, in that moment in my life. I thought that Excel was, you know, amazing so i used to code a little bit in vba just doing simple macros um, but when i did that subject of financial trading systems i realized how important it was to learn a little bit more about coding in a specific so i have a, in the job that i have right now i i actually run so i have a small it's a small team but i have two people that were under me that they actually are a professionals in the it Area. So one is a software engineer and the other one is an IT. And they help me a lot and they start to teach me a lot. I learn, some apparently are the leader, but the reality is that I'm learning from them more than what I, more than I actually am teaching to them. So they were teaching, we had been uh, creating a really nice team and they were teaching me a lot and they approached me to Python. And then I start to investigate about it. And I realized how important and how powerful quant finance is. Even though that I have been interested in trading and portfolios, when you go through uh, general studies, what you do is portfolios analysis and you do, um, you don't go into quant finance much. 
you just do technical you don't do technical analysis normally what you do is you do check ratios and then you do some scenarios and models in excel that are quite simple but then i realized how powerful python could be and this is when i actually was interested very interested to learn a little bit more about algorithmic trading this is when the bell rings to me um and then yeah it just started with a little bit of research at home reading a little bit in internet and and finally find the, the the course that i feel that can meet that that requirement so can give me that skills that i wanted to know that is related between finance that is something that i love and coding and the power of code that is something that I have been discovering in the last three, four years in my working experience. And that's the way how these both worlds mix. You know, economics and finance that I, I do understand it well. And let's call it the IT part of the business, the coding part that is I'm fairly new to that one, but has allowed me to try to mix both and, and be very passionate about algorithmic trading that this is what nowadays, you know, I've been working on. When I was looking for a course, I didn't couldn't find a course that meet was challenging enough to provide a good curriculum when you can cover a lot of different topics. And this is when a path came to the, the equation when I was trying to take a decision what to study. And I defined that even though that was a pretty intense um, course where a, a lot of these subjects probably require more time than what is assigned. So it's a real, I feel that it's a short course for so much topics and subjects that you need to go through. It's really intense. It provide you a, a curriculum that uh, will be challenging enough to go through and learn the, the real deep part of the, the quant finance. So I will say that a lot, of, a lot of the courses that are in the net, and I agree with you, it's plenty of free resources, it's plenty of videos, but they don't really um, go deeper they really don't go to a specific curriculum when in one place you can actually study all the different areas of knowledge that you need if you were doing just free resources it's going to you will be spending a lot of time trying to put all that content together and this is what this course uh, did for me is provide me a curriculum that was extremely challenging because a lot of uh, a lot of these topics i knew about by theory but never in practical point of view and, and provide you all the information that you need, you know, from, from a beginner step to a little bit more complex modeling. And this is what uh, brought, me, brought my attention about IPAD. It's an intense short course with a curriculum that is challenging enough to learn. And, and this is what uh, I would say is, is part of my motivation to, um, I'm not a young person. I, I, you know, I'm not in my 20s anymore. So when I decided to study, uh, for me, and a change of career as well, for me, it was really important to find uh, something serious where I can actually study and I can go deeper with my pace. And this is what the, the course did for me. This is when I, I get my attention. How I get to that, I think that I would just uh, get through internet. I can't remember exactly which app, but I know that I went through different, it took me a few days just going through to compare courses, compare curriculums, and I feel that the path did really focus in algorithmic trading. That's the other thing, because I have the Masters of Finance. There is a lot of areas of finance that I already studied that I wasn't interested to review it. A path is a course that is really focusing in quant finance, you know, in the coding part, in, in the part when you put your hands on, and from theory, you can jump to something more practical. And this is where brought my attention to. And to be frank, it's, it, it, it has been challenging. So, but same again, we, we go back to what we told um, a few minutes ago. It's just, we need to just celebrate the wins, the small wins. Yeah. Co coding for me is new. Uh, I'm not an IT person, but um, it just goes step by step. So at the beginning it was fine. It's, it's challenging because you, you want to achieve you understand what you need to do. You know the theory. You do understand what's, what is happening behind the scenes. But bring that to reality, to something practical, where you have a code in front of you, um, was challenging, but I, I did enjoy it. So that's the other thing. You need to have a little bit of passion about it. Um, I need to say as well that even though that the course was, uh, or has been, because I still reviewing it, 
even if the course is still uh, challenging, internet has a lot of resources too. So you have a lot of mentoring. So I have a good mentor in the path course. You have the lectures. That's correct. That's the information is there. But sometimes you can go and read blogs and you can read, you know, you can enroll communities where you can see that people have the same questions that you have. And a lot of those questions has been answered already. So it, it has been a nice journey to go through. It's a win-win journey. Uh, at the beginning of the course was extremely challenging. And nowadays, um, I'm, I feel happy when I see, uh, I try to read a code and I, at least I do understand 80% of the code. And that's a good win for me. That's enough for me to, to feel proud about this big change from theoretical finance, economics, to quant finance, a little bit more of coding where you need to you need to bring to you need to bring your knowledge, your practical knowledge to to something real for you, something tangible, something that you can touch, that you can read, that you can manipulate. And it has been has been interesting. So I don't know how to describe it. It's complex but it's it's challenging but it's you feel satisfaction too. It's, it's pretty it's pretty good i i enjoy it i enjoy it what is happening in my life nowadays it has been a, a, it has been a really good experience for me um how that helped me i think that is a lot and i think that this is just the beginning too so first thing that i would say that it helps me was to understand a little bit better the algorithmic trading world even so that a, a short course so intense uh, won't give you, you know, you cannot say that you're an expert of the area straight away. It gives you all the basic, even a little bit more than basic knowledge of what this world is, how it operates, how that works. And that helped me a lot to fully understand a little bit more about this industry. And ask, ask, and help me as well to ask the question if I, this is something that I wanted to do. Because I, as you asked me already, I have been moving from jobs and, and growing and in different industries, trying to find that business of area or area of knowledge that I enjoy. So help you to feel if you are comfortable or not with, with the challenges. And it has changed my mind for sure. So I, when I started a path, uh, I was thinking to do this course to just my personal projects, uh, be able to invest a little bit on the side by the time that I do my full time job. But nowadays I'm, I'm planning to, to go a little bit further and I would like to be able to work as an algorithmic trader or run my own business in regards to quant finance in the in the future. And this is, will be one of my goals nowadays. So a path has helped me to, to shift a little bit my personal career goals. And I definitely feel in that uh, quant finance is one of the things that I would like to do in the future. It's also on the platform that you guys have is really good. and. And if you take this seriously, and if you go through the program seriously, and, and, and you do the study and read the, you know, all the recommended recommended books and things like that, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It's very good. One that worked for me, I feel that the, the EPAD in general is really good that you can actually have live, live lectures and you can contact people. But in my case, my case, Diego's case, because I was in Australia, the time difference was difficult for me to do all the live streams. So one of the things that I do like the path course a lot, that one of the features that I did enjoy was how the content is in the server. So how easy it is to go to the content and review lectures that you missed for time constraints. And the fact that I can come back even as an alumni. So this has been a, something that I have been enjoying that you can go back to your course, you can go back to the lectures uh, you can review the content. Uh, I feel that this is a really, really powerful feature that the course has. No, the only thing that I would like to add there is that you are, everyone is capable to do things. Um, sometimes we can get dismotivated and, and agree with that, even myself. Uh, but it's really good when you have a challenge and a new area of knowledge or something that you want to study or something that you want to do, a new job, completely different. And it's pretty, it, it brings me satisfaction when you have that challenge and you don't give up and then you realize that you are able to do it. And then you achieve your goals. And that keeps people, that's the thing that we keep 
should keep us moving in general in life you know like could be look at uh, cool things could look a little bit hard at the beginning could be difficult but as soon we achieve that minor wins if you celebrate minor wins if you go and you celebrate a minor win and then another second win and a third win if you celebrate your wins doesn't matter how small they are then you will achieve big goals and then you're going to have big wins so i, I would say that this is really important too is just celebrate your small wins doesn't matter how small they are and be proud that you can achieve those challenges and you can you can go through the problems and the the things that you feel that sometimes sounds impossible if you celebrate your wins step by step i'm pretty sure that you will be able to achieve a big goal it's good question i would say that i i invite everyone to to be brave like don't 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 get don't worry especially if if you are someone that doesn't have a background in coding like myself uh, just let you know that you need to enjoy your wins i think that that, that will be part of this interview enjoy and be, and celebrate your small wins go step by step um have the time to to be patient with yourself and your pace don't expect that you're going to jump there and you're going to understand everything at once and it's going to be an easy course i feel that it's important to for for everyone that wants to take this seriously to know that it's challenging but it's possible you know that they don't need to get motivated if they don't understand something at the first time that that the things will come through if we celebrate our small wins and if we are patient to 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 understand that that will take time i feel that anyone really can join this course Every, anyone can become an trader um and other thing i would say is is the skills that you win just learning how to manipulate data is is a skill that you can apply to different different areas of knowledge in your in your life the work projects personal projects so it, it is um, it, it is definitely worthy to take the time take the challenge don't give up and celebrate your small wins